Hey guys, my name is Seniak and welcome to a brand new series of Planet Zoo. Where your boy is going to be building his own zoo. And hopefully we can make some sweet cash mini moolah in the process too. Now I will throw this out there straight away. I've barely played any of the tutorials. So this is going to be a lot of fun watching me trying to figure out how to build my own zoo. But at the same time, it should be a lot of fun. Guys, if you enjoyed this and want to see this is basically a full, complete series on this, then make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here too, guys, please, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video of Planet Zoo. Uh, this is my little entry point right now to the zoo. I'm not actually sure where the people come from like to get into my zoo. I think they, they just teleport in or something like that. All that kind of jazz. But this is my entrance. I'm like in a... Uh, well, that's, I think I'm in Europe. It very looks much like the UK's countryside, but here we go. This is the area I get to work with. I'm kind of hyped to get this under, under going. So I've got everything in there. I'm basically doing the challenge mode offline. Uh, i got 40,000 in the bank right now. Uh, we got 300 conservation credits is what we use to adopt animals. So when we release animals into the wild, when we've like kind of, you know, Rehabilitated them. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking like, like, like they prisoners. <laughs> but you get kind of points and stuff like that. We got no guests, so we gotta make sure first. First things first, we build a basic zoo, get it up and running to the point where it's semi-functional, and that we are making money, profit. And if I can do that, then it's all good, boys. It's all good. So we got a few problems at the moment straight away. Staff alerts. We have all these needs at the moment, but we'll go through each of them one by one. Should be quite fun. And my first challenge at the moment is to adopt uh, exhibit species. So get some animals up and running. We'll give us a thousand smackaroonies to uh, get going. So we need to build the path going in. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go with... I don't want to go with the wood floor or keep it nice and plain and natural. And I don't know whether to have square edges. So if I bring this in... Oh, an inspector's arriving in 19 months. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the game then. And uh, we're going to build this. So, path length, we're going to the maximum set to five. So, if I build that, and we come out to about there, it's already bringing the terrain with me. <laughs> it, this, this looks like city skylines all over again. <laughs> but um, I want to kind of create like a central point as they walk in, where we'll have like the information kiosk, a few little food and drink um, kiosks as well, stalls, and maybe a few little like reptile exhibits as it kind of leads in. So I think I'll bring it up by one more, and I think that's as far as we're gonna go. So let's get it selected to the grid format then, and let's um, grid this up, baby. So how do I wanna do this? If I make it kind of go like this, um, do I want it to kind of, uh, I'm gonna sell it on flattened terrain. How does that change things? Do you know what? Undo that. Seeing as we got the flattened terrain on, we'll go with it. So if I make this like the little square area, and then I want a path to go like in that direction, and I want to go in this direction to the many different zones that we have. But I kind of want to make sure we'll make it wider by a bit more, because I want to put like a few exhibits in. So if I stick this out a little bit more as well. So if I kill off that there and create this little walkway in a sense is it too much do you reckon i think if we do it like that kill off you and then these go in the directions that i want them to go in so that'll be a nice little center point we can have like an information kiosk or whatnot we can have some reptiles either side and then it pushes into pretty much four directions. We can have paths coming off anyway and going in certain areas. Um, but it should be quite fun. So when it says it levels to terrain, it's because it's got rid of the grass and it bends down. From a distance, it looks like it's kind of messed it all up. But it's because there's no grass growing. It looks like there's an incline, doesn't it? That's how weird it kind of looks. So I think we'll go with this for now then. Let's we'll see what we can come up with. So let's get some of the basic stuff set in then so facilities i don't know whether to not is it facilities or hold on start guest facilities we have the information booth now that can pretty much go anywhere we want 
And it's, I'm kind of thinking like the information's booth's going to be like, you know, like Roller Coast Tycoon and stuff like that, where you can access it from all points and all angles. Um, or do we build a, have a building for it? Uh, so that's an information center. That's an info shop. It's a Planet Zoo themed shop with a information center inside. So that might be slightly a little bit better. Now it's going to flatten the terrain with us. Let's see if it's going to do anything as well. No. So what I could do then, and it's not R to rotate, which is kind of annoying. I could place down the information booth as soon as they walk into this point which will be here that's the first I mean do I want that to be the first portal call or do I have it like other areas right actually what I'm going to do is we're going to get a path right now and go back to the the grid oh hold on so if I come off oh didn't want to do that so if I come off about here in both directions that kind of splits it up a little bit more and then maybe we have like the information booth around it and I don't know whether to go with the normal one how much money what's the difference in price so like an extra five hundred dollars to get this like slightly themed one uh, I'm gonna go with this anyway and what I'm gonna do I've, I've got to get used to not pressing R to rotate is we'll have it right there i just got to get it centered i don't know if there's a, a way I, in which i can center it to the grid is that grid still there no okay right place it down get ready boy about there so that's my little information kiosk information center nice so inside of it then it pretty much tells you everything you need to know about it. it's not yet opened uh, it's got no power I can't power anything like that. Is that one of my things I gotta build? Workshop, quarantine, keeper, sort of stuff like that. But there we go. That is my first thing I've gotten down. So GG everybody. We'll see you all next episode. <laughs> now let's let's build our first our first little kind of attraction, our exhibit. So this is just kind of my basic layout. I'm gonna have like an exhibit quite early on here. And I'm not gonna do gridded formats in past. We'll have like bends and stuff. But it would be nice to... Actually, if we do the bend now. So align to grid. Let's select the grid there. And let's put a... Do we got a 90 degree snaps enough? Oh, that's not going to actually work, is it? Ah, there we go. So if I bent this around. Like that. And lines of grid, select the grid, and then put the square on. Ooh. Alright, this is not. It's not gonna like what I'm trying to do here, is it? So how would I get these to connect them? Well obviously that will continue to go up. Deselect. Haha! -ha! Just like that! And you can put like a nice small exhibit in this little area too. Whoa. See the stuff that we're doing right now? This is kind of cool, man. So I've already spent 4,000 on paths and an information kiosk. Let's get um, a habitat set up then. Well, we need to do barriers first. So actually, what animals have we got to uh, get first? Animals. Um, I've already forgotten how. You have to do it in the animal training thing, but you need the, the building, I assume. So get animal trading, you must have at least one trade center. Right, should we build the trade center first? Facilities? Is it staff facilities? Uh, animal trade center. All right, we'll keep it nice and cheap and simple and easy. I'm going to put this over here to begin with. Right, I'm going to put it right at the entrance. There we go. So just place it in there, Animal Trade Center. And our first animal then we'll go with, let's see. I mean, oh, bison? See, bison could be cool. We got 300 um, conservative, uh, conservation points, sorry. Bongos. Um, giant toy, a panda. Oh, a panda would be kind of a grizzly bear. 
A hippopotamus. Oh, man mandrills. Should we sort it by price? <laughs> so, this is conservation um, point. Is that the most expensive? There we go. So, the which look like peacocks, which are pea, pea fowls. I'll go with the wolves. Um, so, it's not even like the deer, an ostrich maybe. Should we do like an ostrich one? Ostrich one would be cool. Right, okay. So, we're going to go with ostriches first. I've made my mind up. So what type of fence would we want? A chain link fence? Uh, a corrugated fence? Wooden lug fence would be, might be pretty cool too. It's climbable. It's opaque. It's not watertight. And that should be pretty much fine for ostriches, right? Should be. So, um, height mode. Flat top. Undulating. Post constant above ground level. Right, keep it like that. So if I pick a spot, let's say, then there, and go in this direction. So how do I get it to snap? Angle snap? Height snap? Well, I've got snaps on. Uh, I suppose I've got to draw a line first, haven't I, before I can snap it. Uh, right, so length, we'll go 20. Ha ha! Okay, go this way next. Boom. And I'll go. I'll bring it down to about fifteen. No, ten. There we go. Now we do fifteen. Boom. So I'm leaving a bit of space behind because I can do some like staff stuff that the guests don't need to know about in that area. So fifteen. That then because this is going to be quite a large enclosure. All right, we get to there. And do you reckon that's central to the bend? All right, we go to here. That's another point as well. How do I? How would I create a bend? How would I go down that route of doing it? Heights. Um, right. Let me just cancel that a second. So how would you create a bend? Is it possible to create a bend? That's that's another thing. I think it is. I think I've seen like in the tutorials that I'm playing uh, that it was possible. I can add no and do that. Oh, that's the cool. I, mean, I suppose that's the cool thing about like this as well. You can like undo anything at any time. So edit barrier. I know we can change stuff to it. Uh, this is adjusting the height. Which is what I don't want. I edit the barrier again. Undo. I'm not too sure on how we would do something like that. Camera. Right, so I'm trying to get. The angle snap. Well, if I bring it down by 10. And then try and get this to go straight. Now, what I would want is, and it would be kind of cool to get it connected to a certain degree. Right, get it there. I think it's four I need it to be on. Right, there we go. So, it's a little funky, but I suppose you can, like, I can fine-tune it over time. And it's the right... Yeah, it looks about right. That's a, that's a pretty good enclosure we've kind of got. So what we would do then at this point, and I don't know um, if I should, is maybe create like a small bend on that if I kind of put a couple of points in. 
So if I add in a point there and a point there, and then maybe delete those real quick. No, let's undo that. Okay, let's go to that. So then what you do then is select some of it and use it to be the a glass see-through area. So if I chose that whole corner, is that too much? I reckon that's too much. That's why I wanted to put like some points in. All right, so if I put a point in there and that turn that back to that. Put a point in here and turn this back to that. So you got a nice little corner section there, which is pretty cool. And then maybe do one over here. A little looking area. So we've got two little looking areas for this. Yeah, it's not too right, shabby. Right, so what I've done now shabby. is I've added in a few extra points and I'm bringing it slightly now closer to the edges and I've gonna created more of a bend there so I think we should turn the whole of this into glass so you got some really good viewing options for what can I do about these posts can I it's like a glass version yeah you got some you got a really good viewing area now for the ostriches I don't know why the ostriches are having such a good viewing area I don't know why you want to see them in such high quality detail but that's pretty dope, isn't it? I'm kind of really happy with how this has already turned out. And this is my first enclosure I've ever built. So then now I would need to build the habitat gate. Now there's two variations. You've got the airlock one, which I don't think I need something like that. Uh, and if I put this one, let's put it up a little bit, about there. And that can be used and treated off the path. And if I set it up to be a staff path, because there's no need for anybody else to be going down that route so let me just slip my grid is that gonna work so if i pick it about there why won't it work excuse me Why won't this work? Or should I do it like this then? No. Aha! So that's there. And let's bring it up in general. Okay, it's not fully connected, but that's okay. Deselect grid. No, steady yak! I don't think I'll ever get, understand this game. It's not because that's too close, is it? Edit the barrier there. How do I get rid of the door? Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Aha, there we go. So I've got this then. How do I get rid of it? Where's the delete button? Settings. Is it B to bulldoze? Delete. There we go. Nailed it. Okay, so that's how it would work then. So drop it there. That's then connected. But this path here is not connected. And I don't I don't get it. Ah. Ah. Kill off that. All right, boom, boom. This is so weird how it's doing this. Right, let me figure this out, guys. Oh no, I think I got it, I think I got it. Don't need to figure it out. Don't need to figure it out, Zeniac. 
Yes, you do. <laughs> right, I've, I've actually got it right now. So let me uh, align to grid selection. Boom, boom. And then get rid of the grid selection. Oh no, now I'm building stairs. Now I'm building freaking stairs. Right, set the door. If I can get it. Right, delete that, and then we try again. Boom. Right, it worked. And that's not connected. This is not connected. But I think I'm getting somewhere. So move it. Like that. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, that was so painful. I think we're now connected. Right, that was so painful, but we're up and running. We are now semi-up and running. Now... Do I add in more windows to this side? I think I'll leave it for now. Right, we'll leave it for now. So, we're still in pause mode. We're still going good, though. We're still going good. We got the basic of some of that stuff set up. We need a vet surgery. We need a staff room. We need all that kind of jazz. But that's why I've got space over here to play around with. Quarantine, keep us up. Uh, so let's get some of them facilities added in. So staff facilities. How much have I got? I've got 34,000. So I'm still good. Still good. Uh, Planet Zoo Keeper's Hut. Now it's also ideal to have a Keeper's Hut nearby in general. Uh, whether or not that's to certain stuff. But can I... Oh, oh, I can as well. Can I squeeze it in on this side? Like there? No, did it not like that? It liked it for a second, didn't it? As if it was going to do it. Right, if I squeeze you here then. There we go. Um, so we got to keep us hut in. Small little quarantine, which looks mahusive. But I'm going to drop this right next door to it. There we go. We've got a quarantine, which is 5,000. Um, what else do we, do we need? A workshop, vet surgery is something that we need as well. So where's the vet surgery? Trade, vet, it's 5,000. Okay, we don't need that just yet. Um, workshop is pretty cheap. Let's get one of these in. Try and get them all together so they look like, you know, combined one building. And I think a staff room. Yeah, I think a staff room is what's needed next. And I think I'll leave the other ones for another time. Alright, that goes this way. So I'm trying to get this placed in the best way I can. Right, this tree, you're gone. Probably should have just moved it over there. But there's some of the uh, the basic buildings we've got in right now for the staff needs. So let's now get the animal in. So, we were going for ostriches, weren't we? So let's select the ostrich species. So, ostrich, ostrich. Is it called an ostrich? Or is it going to those fancy names? Oh, the common ostrich. Common ostrich. There we go. So cheap and cheerful. What's the issue here? It be adopted for cash. It cannot be released into the wild. Right, fine. That's okay. I don't mind. It's just all about trying to build some money up. So if I go for the younger ones, there's a younger male and female, which I'll adopt both of those. We'll just go with two for now because, again, expensive. Uh, and have they arrived? Right, we're going to move them in. And then the second one. Move them in. So we move them both in. I'm going to press play in just a moment. And then we're going to go for their needs and stuff like that. So I need staff. I need a zookeeper, right? Yeah. So if I just get one zookeeper for now. Can I find an ex accessible staff room? Oh. That's because uh, I placed it with a tree down, didn't I? Right, let me move this. Right, is that good? Right, 
Ja, ne? Still, ne? Because out of all of them, it's the staff room that has this. Right, let me move it again. Oh, I need it in pause mode. Okay, I'll remove it again once more. Oh God, what have I done? No, I want to cancel it. Can I just... Undo it all. Right. My game just crashed, but it's okay. We're now back. <laughs> We're now back. Um, okay, right. So we got some stuff, more quests up there. So I am, I'm not going to have to re, um, re-adopt those common ostriches. I can't believe the game just crashed on me like that right there. I'm hoping we get the same like good ones. Yeah, male and female. Right, adopt you. Adopt you. Nice, nice, nice. And we're trading. So I want them to be moved into here. Let's get this done real quick. There we go. I'm going to have to now hire a zookeeper again. <laughs> I'm having deja vu, guys. Like I've done this all before. Right, zookeeper right there. Oh, do we have a person in the zoo right now? Who's this? Wondering. Oh, it's our vendor. Ah, okay. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So what issues we got right now then? Zoo alerts. Facility is without power. Okay, so how do I get power then? Transport. No, is it construction? No, facilities. Staff. Workshop. Um, have I got to turn them on or something? What's without power? Is it the shop? Something's without power. Yeah, there's no power. Okay, how do I get power? I'm sure it's uh, utilities. There we go. A transformer, water treatment. Right, so everything in that radius right now has... has power. If I just turn that off a quick second... And where can I squeeze this in? So just for now then, I'm just going to drop it there. That will give it all power. Right, okay. So at least the information kiosk has got power, I suppose. And are we now just waiting? Is my... Can he not walk across that? What's going on? Are you okay there, mate? I'm not exactly sure what's going on with him. <laughs> but um, I'm now waiting for these ostriches. Uh, I need a reset. I need a vet surgery. I know all that. I'm waiting for these ostriches to come. Are they here? No, we're waiting for their move. Are we just waiting for the dude to move them? What's he now waiting for? I have a feeling this path is causing us some issues. I have that feeling. But where's he gone? Hey, come here. Fool. Or is this not the dude who moves the animals? Zoo. Vendor. Veterinarian. It's not a veterinarian, right? Oh no, he's doing something. It's like he gets stuck on some things. Right, let's fix his path. Turns out it was a vet I needed. Damn fool. Also, I don't know why he's getting stuck walking there. Everybody else seems to walk fine. So now they're about to drop my ostrich down for the first time ever. I told you guys it's going to be a lot of fun watching me trying to play this game. <laughs> but um, yeah, everything's accessible. So I'm not sure what the issue quite was, but we Gucci boys. So with the ostrich now being in here, whoa, that ostrich runs fast. You need to slow down, boy. You need to slow down. We need to add all the stuff in there to, you know, make it nice for these guys. It's, they're getting stuck there again. What is it about this that makes them get stuck? Right. 
I'm going to pause it. I'm going to try and do something to fix this because this is super annoying. Right, I think I fixed it. I just kind of got rid of the, what I had before and just did one of these. It's not the greatest, but hey-ho. Anyway, Ostrich Boy. <laughs> what, um, can we rename them? Oh my god, we can rename them. Right, guys, in the comment section right now, give me two name suggestions for our ostriches. That's going to be kind of dope, isn't it? Right, Habitat then. I, what I'll do, I'll get the basic stuff they need in before I terraform it, add rocks, trees, bushes, and all that kind of stuff, plants. We've got quite a few people already walking into the zoo. So, not really much going on. I know I've got a place like some of the feeding stuff close by so they can see what's going down. But let's filter this to the species and it being the common ostrich so we can see what we've got to hand. Uh, we've got coolers, we've got large bowls. Right, let's go for a large feeding bowl. That should be nice. So, these guys can watch them eat right in front of them. We have. Heaters, water pumping pipe thing, or that one's more. It's like it would um, last a bit longer, I assume. Or we could do little trays. Right, I'll do the little water trays here. Let's rotate this slightly. And what's that obstructed by? There we go. Oh, it's raining. Okay, let's get that out of the way a second. So that's the food. Heaters. I'll add a heater in. Enrichment items. No, they don't really want anything, do they? Where where do they sleep? Like, do they not have, like, anything where they would want to sleep? Beds and shelters. Should we do, like, an indoor thing? Um, right, let's get rid of that. Let's go for, like, a... Uh... Right, which is the cheaper? That's a cheaper one. See, that's not too shabby. I, I feel like the ush I, I don't know if the ushers is needed or not. They probably don't. But I'm going to get that in. Because I feel like they need shelter. That's how I feel anyway. So extra large bedding. Alright, let's get some extra large bedding in there so they've got somewhere to sleep. And really, do they not want anything? I bet you they just want like... um. It's happening again. Why are they getting stuck there? It's got to be to do with this path then, isn't it? Well, I thought I fixed it, guys. Turns out it could be wrong. Also, I realized something. This feels like it also should now be over here. Could you imagine if I could get it... All right, why is it not rotating? Can you rotate, please? It really doesn't want to rotate that building. Right, I'm going to delete it. Right, so it's an animal. It was our animal trade center. This is it here. So it can be a part of the collective, but I've got to extend that path further along. It also could have been as well. If I go set the grid, you know the reason why we couldn't. Oh, I've got I've got walls in that, haven't I? Let me undo that. Plan train, build supports. Is that what it's building supports? No. Raining on ground. No. Curb. Oh, do you reckon that's what it is? There's like, there's like a curb there? It could be. Alright, can I move this tree? Right, facilities. Animal trade. Let me jig. All right, goes there. So I don't know if it was because that was there and that connecting path messed up the whole logistics of it all. I don't know. But there we go. Right, ostriches, how you doing? We need enrichment, um, which is food enrichment, toy enrichment. They don't really have any toys, but let me just see environment. Grassland stuff, enrichment, terrain. So this is the terrain we get to work with right now. Do they want any elevation change? Or are they quite happy for it to be slightly flat? I think they are. So we need to um, paint some terrain in any anyway. So they need more short grass. 
that's what they like. So if I just kind of get rid of all the long grass, I also want this rain to go away. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'm just going a little bit over the top with the short grass. There we go. So we might have too much, but it's okay because we slowly get rid of it as we start to add in soil. So I'll place a little bit of soil around where they would sleep. Well, they'll probably spend most of their time you know, around like the drinking and watering holes. And I'm hoping that keeper's now coming in to refill. Where's that keeper? Did he just walk in and walk out? This rain is terrible, isn't it? Damn, son. Um... Right, so we can get a few more... Well, we can get some more soil in. I know that. So I want to kind of do like a little trail running around the back areas. As if that's where they do a lot of their running. Nice. And... Okay, it looks like they do want a little bit of long grass. Thrown in there, which would be handy for them. And that is pretty much everything we kind of need for that. You can't really see much because it's pouring down with rain. So let's fast forward until the rain has disappeared. I don't know if it's working now. I redid it and they seem to go over it a few more times, which is fine. But yeah, this is now the little lasher. The zookeepers come in and put some like food and water down, which is really good. And are they happy? So they need some enrichment provided by cover of animals. Food enrichment and stuff like that. So... Even though, I mean, I suppose I have to research more about the ostriches to encourage their enrichment. So, I need a research center before I can do any of that, which is fine. Um, okay, so facilities. Let's get some um, environmental stuff anyway. So, grassland. So, nature. And we're going to filter this to, oh, no, wrong one. To biome grassland. And you are these good enough? Yeah, they, they like these. There is some larger versions. Like a medium version. What about these little reeds? They like those? Oh, yeah, they do. Right, try not to go too crazy with them. Some smaller versions. Put in the corners. Because it what can it's what fluffs up these enclosures then, isn't it? I'll get some like at the back here. An inspector's arrived at the zoo. There we go. Brings that to life slightly. What about these little bush reeds? No, okay. They don't like those. Little flowers, maybe? No, they don't like those. Oh, it's snowing, guys. I want some low ground stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. What about that? Oh, yeah, they like these daisies. Place a few around the trees. There you go. Plant a little oh my god, look at the snow. The snow is really bad, isn't it? Holy moly. Right, we're giving some nice coverage. So I'm not sure how much that's going to affect them. Um, the welfare, the habitat, the temperature. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We can get facility. We can get in a um, a what do you call it? A heater, a cooler heater. Yeah. So let's drop a heater there. 
Will it warm up that area over time? Yeah, so that make them slightly happy. So the heaters in where they, you know, sleep and whatnot. Oh, God. Okay, I realize what that heater does. <laughs> right, that's kind of cool. So the inspector's left anyway. I've got it so super fast forwarded. I might even like paying attention to how much money I'm losing and whatnot. And it's just the enrichment. I feel like I need to research some more stuff, don't I, to be honest, to get to that point. But that's okay. Uh, they haven't been stuck on that in a long time at the moment, but for our first little enclosure, it's not too shabby, is it? It's not too shabby. Now, what if I was to... That looks like it needs to be repaired soon. What if I was to build the little reptile thing in? Does that make him money, by the way? Information center. Prices. I mean, I haven't changed any prices yet. Uh, and if I go... It's had $15 in income. Maybe that needs to be moved a little bit closer. Probably. It probably needs to go like around about here, doesn't it? So let, let me move that whole thing closer. Um, here. So as soon as they walk in, there's an information booth straight away. Right, oh, knocking over my delicious can of cream soda there. Um, right. That's all good then. So I'm thinking then, facilities, nature, habitat. Have I still got the filter on? No, I don't think I have. Um... Right, animal ex exhibits. See, this could be a cool thing. Now, is it possible to get to it? Let's see, because I can get it. I don't want the. I don't really want the uh, anything to bend. Right, if I place it like here. Hmm. I've got quite a few options here, haven't I? Now if I drop this. About that. How much that cost? 3,000. I just realised that cost me 3,000. I could do a nice little. I could do a row of them, couldn't I? I could. Definitely could. But this would need to be moved over. Right, I'm trying to... Oh, man. I was going to move it then. I'm trying to bring this down by a half. I'm just going to drop it. I'm trying to figure out now. What, oh, I need to get the grid off. How do I get the grid off? I don't want to undo. It's just easy to undo it for me at this point. Right, so if I do it to about there... One, two, three, four. See, it's still... One, two, three, four. Yes! Right, so I can get one, three, four. I can get five in a row there, which would be pretty nice. If I wanted five in a row. But there's not really much I can do about this at the minute. It's so rainy. I think we're in the rainy, rainy season. But I need to request uh, request animal exhibit. I don't have anything there for it, so I have to go into the market. And if I go to the cheapest first, what's the cheapest one? I can get fifty. I can get this. <laughs> should we get the giant burrowing cockroaches? I think we should. Right, let's adopt one of them. Should we get two in there? Oh, hang on. 
and move in here. Move in there. So we're going to have two of them in there. These giant burrowing cockroaches. Ew wee! <coughs> and um, we've got to change the exhibit up slightly, haven't we? So we haven't can't research anything to put anything in just yet. We can ch increase the temperature. I'm not sure if 30 degrees is enough. Increase the ambient humidity as well. Just watching these got right now. Got to make sure it's the right temperature set for them. All right, 25, 26, 25. There is right. We'll go 27. That seems to be the right temperature and everything for them there. So the overview is pretty good. We're just going to wait for him to put something in there. So where is anybody coming? Is anybody stuck in any place? You okay, mate? How's it all going? It's going good. So are they going to place in? Is anybody going to place in? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. They've broken down the fence. Right. Um, emergency capture. Tranquilize this animal for a fee. Where's my other one? My other one's there. I'm going to have to. And then I have to rebuild this. Do you reckon this wooden fence is not good enough? Or do you reckon it's the, the weather? How do I fix that? Right, edit barrier. Why won't you get fixed? There we go. Do they wear over time then? They must do because just look at it. Look at the barrier right now. I suppose that's why you need a maintenance worker. But more importantly... Oh, there we go. We, we got the ostrich. More importantly. Oh my god, that's terrifying. And yet they still can't walk out here. What is going on with this? I still don't get this. I really don't. Why is this just not doing what I want it to do? Why will you not allow people to walk? Right. Select grid. I'm going to have to pause it a second and do it all again. Right, I've unboxed the, the animal. Oh, and it's escaped. Jeez, boys. <laughs> I've literally just unboxed it and it's already breaking down the barrier. Right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I need a mechanic. I need to hire a freaking mechanic right now. So drop him there for a second. All right, goodbye, goodbye. That's what I I did. Anyway, I did that to the uh, the path. And okay, so I'm hoping that the mechanic just generally repairs stuff over time. He needs to, otherwise I'm in big trouble, boys. Right. So the barrier status is now slowly increasing as the mechanic does his work. Which should be good. Do we have the cockroaches in here yet? Do we? Because I don't remember seeing anybody bring the box up here. To be honest. Uh, exhibit... No, nothing. There's nothing there. Animal. Tra no. Are they in there? Then we just can't see them. Are they that small? Then again, they are burrowing cockroaches. So, how do you even know there's one in there? Oh, I see it. I see. It. I freaking see it right there. I can't even select it. It's that tiny. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, they're they're, they're in there. That's all good. So, the plan was to try and turn a profit. We're not quite doing that. <laughs> right, barrier status is good right now. 
We like quite doing that. Oh, we play. play. Um, in terms of money, where were we losing the money? So, ongoing expenses, income. I think we just need general income, don't we? So, ongoing expenses, power, facility, running costs, scenery, staff. Wa okay, staff wages are a big one. And oh, donation boxes, Sediac. That's what you need. Right. I just, I just realised I need a donation box. And no, it's small animal. No, no guest facilities. Donation box. Yep, yep, yep. I forgot, your boy. I forgot about the donation box. Right, a couple of donation boxes there, so we can get some money coming in, because that is the lifeline of us making, trying to make some. Oh, change going in. So, in terms of income, um, donations, $24 straight away off the bat. $84 straight away off the bat. So, that could be now what we turn around the deficit on. It's not a pretty start. There's going to be a lot of issues of me trying to go through this, of trying to, you know, low-key <laughs> freaking build a zoo, because this is, like, literally the first time I've built my own zoo in this game. But as a start, I mean, come on, guys, it's not too shabby, is it? We got a lot of people right now just paid an entry fee to come in and solely look at two single ostriches. Amazing. So today alone, or this year, should I say, we are down $124 on its own. Which it's not not the end of the world. I'm hoping that will decrease slightly as more and more donations come in. Look at that. Now are we gonna oh we're about to turn a profit, guys. We might as fifty one dollars in profit. Free it. Oh my god! Wait, is that from donations? That is literally from donations. Holy moly! Okay, right. So we're making money, then, guys. We're making money. I think as next episode comes and as we progress, we'll uh, obviously we'll build more and more exhibits and add towards them and stuff like that. But very very basic. We're very very basic at the moment. But I've got room to add in another exhibit here. And here, and here, and everywhere else. But we'll slowly build upon it. We'll slowly build upon it. They seem to... We've seemed to have fixed this. It took me like 20 attempts. But it did good. Uh, I might need multiple vendors, because when one goes on break, I need the other one. Doing what he, can, what he needs to do. Um, we, we've made profit off it as well. Lifetime profit. That's not too shabby, I suppose. But there's no vendor. <laughs> He's on break. That is what we're waiting for right now. I'm kind of hyped, guys. So if you did enjoy this, smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here as well, guys, please make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye. <laughs>